So after the live stream yesterday, there was there was a couple of crybaby streams after, right? There was a couple of crybaby streams. We had Dean TV and Rabbit Dude crying, crying about me on the internet. And then we had Albert Menenkuk crying about me on the internet as well. So Albert Menendez, you want to sit? Okay, before I get to that, I just want to point out the fact that Queefy Boy, okay, Darius Truxton, I'm looking at his live streams right now. Two days ago, he played Super Mario Brothers Wonder for five hours. He streamed it for five hours, and that's just when he went live. Who knows when he wasn't live how much he played that damn game. Then one day ago, in the afternoon, he streamed Super Mario Bros. Wonder for four hours, okay? Four hours. And then at nighttime, one day ago, one day ago at night, he came back again at nighttime, part three, and he streamed it for three and a half hours. That, that is what you call someone that has no life. That is what you call a queefy boy that's an incel. Five plus four plus three and a half. That's 12 and a half hours over the span of friggin' two days. Two days. He live streamed Super Mario Brothers Wonder for 12 and a half hours. And that's only what we saw on screen. He could have played it on and on and on when he went offline. That guy has absolutely no life. Hey, Queefy Boy, this game is supposed to be made for kids, okay? Seven-year-olds, eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds, ten-year-olds. And you're in your mid-40s. And instead of using that 12 and a half hours to maybe friggin' read the read the friggin' G2 license written book for the driver's license and get your damn license so maybe you can get a, get a set of balls and actually drive a car for once in your life, moron. You're instead being a little queefers and playing Super Mario Brothers Wonder, uh, having such a blast, right? It's a game made for kids. The challenges are for the challenges in the game are made for kids and you're here like, oh, this is a tough. Oh my God, I'm having such a good time. Wow, what a pathetic piece of trash you are, Darius. What a, your stupid Eminem haircut queefy boy hip-hop album friggin songs like squishy one and rochelle will you call me your little r&b song get the hell out of here i know you were lurking in my live stream watching everything yeah who wouldn't it's just an hour of your time it's just one hour of just fun in the chat me talking responding to the chats why wouldn't you watch it queefy boy right i know why because what i say hurts your feelings right everything i say on live chat is true everything i say okay you're you're a piece of garbage who proposed to ursha gaming with amiibo toys and he gave 50 reasons why she should marry you ain't no way a hot norwegian chick is looking at a chinless from one angle, double chin from another angle, loser in an apartment that smells like cat piss. It ain't happening, okay? There's no way she's gonna be, there's no way Rochelle is gonna call you when you look like you're friggin' in grade eight uh, recess, wearing double XL shirts, flood shorts, and a fitted cap with the friggin' marijuana leaf on it. Oh, you're so cool, right? Queefy boy is so cool, guys. He's wearing a marijuana hat. Oh, the teachers can't say anything to him. Wow, what a rebellion. What a rebellious natured friggin' loser. You're the same idiot who married a girl in Final Fantasy XI. Who knew if it was a girl or a guy? It could have been James Campbell for all we know. And then you married her, and then she you creeped her out online. What the hell did you say to her in the whisper text? In the purple whisper text in Final Fantasy XI Online, what the hell did you say to her? She's freaking trying to do a dungeon, part you know, partying with her party, trying to level up as a mage or something, or, or as a healer, and you're there whispering her like, "Hey, do you want to prance around the the fields of West Ron Field, please?" Shut up, Darius Trucks, and you're a loser. You don't even have a car in your life. What do you know about navigation? Nothing. So then Albert Menenkuk. First thing I'd like to say, Albert Menenkuk, when you're alone, live streaming, unhinged, ranting, it's way more entertaining, okay? Please don't invite other people to your live chats, please. It bores it up, it's boring. When you're in full Nosferatu mode at nighttime, five foot two shrimp, prancing around with your shirt off, smoking cigarettes, that is when you are at your peak entertainment, okay? I'm just letting you know that right now. Continue to do that, all right? Continue to do that so I can make more Elder Scrolls Oblivion shorts from your content. And it's going to be hilarious. So anyways, you're there sitting there saying like, oh, oh, Slotham, why do you read all the live chats? Well, number one, I want to engage with everybody. 
okay? I want to engage with everybody, and I want entertainment, okay? Just because you, Albert Menenkuk, and you, Darius Truxton, are too scared to read the comments because it's roasting you, and you try to avoid it, I'm not like that. I'll read every comment, unless it's friggin' D-Pick Reed with his avatar. I don't want that crap around. But other than that, I'll read every comment and respond to it. I'm not scared like you, Albert, who avoids comments when the truth is said. And also, you're like... You're like, why did you say that about sweet and tender hooligan? I don't give a damn about some libtard, docile cuck from California named sweet and tender hooligan. Take your stupid amico news and get the hell out, sweet and tender. If you have news, if you if you want to talk about news in my uh, live chat, bring some saggy melons drama or some insight. Then I'll respond to that. Then I'll give my opinion. But you want to talk about amico and off of my off of my like off of my rants and take steel information? Get the hell out, okay? I don't care about you, sweet tender all right so f off and then albert you're like in the live chat uh, in your live stream you're like oh and you're talking about carl's dad one foot in the grave yeah one foot in the grave the guy sounds like he's on his last dying breath but he has to friggin cater to some fat overgrown slowed some jabba the hut carl who wears tidy whities in adult diapers, full adult diaper. He has to cater to him, hold his hand to the next fast food restaurant so Carl can stuff his fat face with a double cheeseburger dressed like a Mac. Okay, yeah, it is one foot in the grave for Carl's dad. And I feel sorry for him, okay? I feel sorry for the fact that he had some sort of success and now he has to carry around some man-child that doesn't know what planet he's on. Some man-child Carl that friggin' makes a community post saying he's not going anywhere for a while to de-read and then just two days later post another community post saying I'm gone for a week. Yeah, nice flip-flopping, Carl, you fat piece of trash. My God, T clean the goddamn Q-tips out of your room, you moron. I know you use those Q-tips to clean the wax and lint out of your fat belly button. My God. One f I'll say whatever I want, Albert. Are you, do you remember, Albert? Do you remember, Albert, what happened last time when you and Darius tried to control some my content? Do you remember what happened last time when you told me what to do? Yeah, do I need to go down that avenue again to remind everyone? No, I don't, because everyone knows the story. 2772, dominoes again. I'm very sorry, Robert, didn't mean to disturb you at all, okay? And then two months away from the drama, Darius, you coward. You complete coward. And then Dean, oh, so then I caught some of uh, Dean TV, because I heard that Dean TV was crying about me with Robert, uh, with Rabbit Dude, crying about my live chat, live stream. Like, you guys, you, Albert and Dean, you guys want to put this fake thing out, like, false narrative, like, you guys don't watch my streams or whatever. It's only an hour of your time, okay? It's not like you're boring six hours, Dean, talking to Short Bus Carl and Rabbit Dude, boring the hell out of everyone, and friggin' that loser Dosh and Nubin with no life in the chat moderating. Like, I don't care. The, all I do is just like an hour, hour, 15 minutes, done. One hour of your time is all I ask. I entertain you, you entertain me, done. That's it. It's like, why wouldn't you want to come over and hear that? It's not like you're so busy in your little busy schedule there, Albert Menenkuk, and uh, the the wiping butts nurse's assistant aide friggin' uh, Dean TV. So, CPE, you said in one of your rants and stuff that Dean since he doesn't have really a child of his own, he wish he now treats other people on YouTube like rabid dude, like his own child. And I was listening to the Dean rabid dude stream yesterday and I could see that. I actually now understand what you're saying, CPE. Like there's times where like rabid dude's like, oh, Slotham, you talk so much trash, blah, blah, blah. And then Dean, the father figure is like, well, Rabbit, if uh, if he bothers you, you shouldn't go there and watch him. Like, I, there's so many things Dean was t saying to Rabbit Dude, which was kind of like the father figure, son figure going on. And now I understand, CPE, what you're saying about that. And I can see it. I can see it now. So, yeah. And, 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 and Rabbit Dude, by the way, I don't know why Dean is guilt is trying to make you feel guilty into watching my content. I, I, I hey, Rabbit Dude, I watch yours. You watch mine. That's the way we interact, right? And your stupid little piano argument is so dumb. 90% of the piano players out there play other people's music. I even said from the beginning, the reason I started learning piano in the first place, so I can play those same video game songs I heard when I was a kid and a teenager and reminisce. Okay, that's the whole reason I'm playing piano. It's not to... 
Rabbit Dude's argument is, yeah, uh, Slotham, you suck at piano because you don't create your own piano pieces. See, Rabbit Dude, that's why we call you an autistic short bus riding prick, even though you want to claim you have a graphics arts degree. That's why you're a short bus rider, because you're in your mind, you can't comprehend the fact that I'm playing piano of other of other pieces. You're so stupid. Tommy Tallarico, have a word with Rabbit Dude and explain to him what it means to play an instrument in other people's pieces. My God, back to friggin' Queefy Boy. Okay, hey, Queefy Boy, all right? I ain't going nowhere. Uh, no matter what you do, no matter what kind of troll drive you try to pull, no matter what kind of friggin' false narrative and Darius Trucks and Army is done and you got DVD fever games, some stupid fat loser from the UK that has no life, okay, that piece of garbage, some ugly fat loser that has the worst content, then you have some other fat loser named Murray NJ08 protecting you and defending you wherever you go and all that crap. Then you got friggin' Sierra Ear, that racist prick. You got Dave C, that other racist prick. I don't care what kind of troll job you're pulling, okay? Then you got friggin' Shinra in the background simping for Orbalology. Hi, Emily, okay? And then, so, so Darius, I'm gonna keep doing these streams. You're gonna keep crying on the internet. You're gonna keep streaming your little little Queefers Super Mario Brothers Wonder, Queefy Wonder, for 12 hours straight for two days. You're a loser. I'm on top. I'm the winning right now. You're lo snakes win 24 7 365. I'm gonna let you know right now. All right, snakes own your life 27 72. We have leverage over you. All right, whenever you want to get out of line and say something about somebody, guess what? It's extra stuffed crust dominoes, and there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet.